traction lock, locker, worm gear style posi. Let's talk a little bit about the differences between the traction lock, the locker, and the true track, and what might be best for your application. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises. And today I want to talk a little bit about the three most popular carriers that are available for a Ford 9 inch for a streetcar. The original traction lock is a clutch style posi unit that uh, uses a clutch pack much like this. These clutches require friction modifier, basically an additive to be added to the gear oil to allow these clutches to slip. Over time, these clutches go bad. They do need to be rebuilt or replaced. And they can actually dry out if you don't drive the vehicle very often. So if it's a hobby vehicle or something that you don't drive more than say once a week, you'll notice that when you take that vehicle back out again, the posi may not be acting the way that you would expect or as smoothly as you would expect. And the reason being is that these clutches have gone dry and the friction modifier needs to be worked back into the clutches. So you might need to drive the vehicle, maybe do a couple figure eights. I'm sure you've heard that before in order for the gear lube to work its way back into the clutches for this to work properly. You've also heard of a locker type of rear end, Detroit locker being the one of the most popular. The Detroit locker it basically is two plates that are spring loaded and they, those teeth pull away from each other and push against each other. And as they push together when they lock like this, it's a full type of spool or both wheels will spin at the same rate. As you turn left or right, they'll pull away from each other and let one spin. But you hear that clicking as you're doing it. And then when it spring loads back into place, you might feel the car move a little bit in the rear or a loud clunk. That's the typical activation of the Detroit locker. It's a great carrier if you're a dedicated drag race car but that wants to drive home after, the, after going racing because that full spool action will give you both tires spinning at the same rate, but will allow you to get home and not chirp through the corners. It also can handle a whole lot of horsepower and is available in 31 and 35 spline. The true track is a worm gear style posi or helical gear is the proper term. The worm gear posi or the true track basically has these small pinion gears that are in the center section and will allow one tire to spin smoothly when going around a corner at a different rate than the other. However, when you slam on the gas, these gears use what's called gear separating forces to pull away from each other and put pressure on the case. And then you'll be doing a two tire fire and can do a burnout or both tires will spin at the same rate. It does not require any friction modifier. It does not require any maintenance. So you will never have to rebuild the clutch pack or rebuild this differential. It can handle all the horsepower over time that you're gonna throw at it and it's available in 31 or 35 spline or even 28 spline for you guys that are running smaller axle shafts. This is probably the most popular differential that we recommend and sell today for anything driven on the street. If it's an autocross car, if it's a street car, if you're cruising on the weekends, this differential is the perfect differential for anything that you would be just driving on the street. I hope that kind of clears up a little bit of the differentiations between the three different carriers. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.